Hello everyone, it's me once again. I just realized it's been just over a year since I bought this lovely product called Bang & Olufsen E8. So uh, let's make a review on what I think about a year after. So here it goes, hope you like it. Okay, so this is the case that you can see. It still has the bank and all and symbol on it, but very discreet. And um, the case itself is covered with rather a good feel of synthetic leather. And this has been, I've been using this almost every day. I can guarantee you for that. Now, the thing is you can't see any wall marks around here at all. It almost is the same condition as I bought it from day one and also the strap itself it looks a bit worn out I guess in some way but it's still in a very good condition it is um, okay and the well the cover side of it let's look at the back side as well and um, I always get conscious about this USB uh, charging point sometimes it could be, be, be a bit wobbly and you, it might end up being very difficult to charge that's in a good condition this is actually the screen um, and when you charge it it shows one dot if it's in very low battery two dots which just show that it's almost charged up and they are very calm mild ambient of led uh, dots that are actually blinking very slowly so it's a very nice feel and it seems to charge relatively quick, quickly and you can use it for um, every time you plug these earbuds out you can use it for up to seven or eight hours which is very good you know okay so let's open up and show you what's going on now those who don't know um, if you open up you see all those marks they're still in a very symbols and marks uh, very much in a good condition still on the edge as well is immaculate condition even though I must have opened it on and off now one thing I do have to confess is that maybe the lid itself the is actually loosened up a bit but um, I don't really feel actually any of that you know lost of touch should we say and um, the thing about this is that on and off very regularly you get this uh, marks here which you could easily rub it out the main reason these are caused is because of this rubbery tip when you actually close it in and on so still very good quality and um, that's the earbud here and the thing I want to say is that because um, like any earbud is not perfect and one of the things that I find it very difficult is that trying to keep it immaculate now i'm trying to every time when i take out the earbuds i want to make sure no one is actually around me because they could end up seeing my earwax i know this sounds a bit <laughs> yeah but um it, eventually it gathers the earwax and those tiny bits very tiny bits of it uh, are gathered here so you could easily take them out but uh that's one of the things that i get conscious when i take out the earbud so you can see that uh, the ambient light flashes every single time when you take it off and then when it's finished it, the ambient blink light disappears now I have dropped it once unfortunately in the middle of the street and this has created a bit of a dent here as you can see there and I was slightly disappointed about that because this feels like a very high quality plastic but it seems it's prone to these dents um, and and so on so but I, you you know you get huge disappointment initially but you started to lose the interest on that it's more about the sound quality of the earbud so let's get into that sound quality experience I had so far so over a few months I started to get really annoyed with um, synchronizing this with my phone what I mean by that is if you're an Apple AirPod user, I'm sure all you need to do is that you just need to take out and it's already synchronized. That's a really nice touch. But since this Bang & Olufsen is not specifically designed for a any particular product, 
it, you, what you need to do is you take out both of them and uh, you have to press this on and you will hear the beep beep sound, should we say, and then that's how it's connected, okay? So now currently it is connected to your um, mobile phone, which is great. Now, if you go to the transparent settings, there are three different choices. So the way how you trigger the transparency is the way um, if you press this one, that's how you synchronize with your phone. While as if you press the other side, that one, that's where it triggers the um, either the ambient, social or commuting. So ambient means without any sound at all. Uh, social means it's your half hearing um, and your half sort of almost listening to the music and commuting is more like you got slightly louder music sound and um, I don't know so something about me is that I just want a complete ambient I think social um, especially when I'm ordering coffee while listening to music I have struggled speaking with the staff at the cafe so I think it was quite rude for me as well for asking them while I have the earbuds on so I tend to go completely ambient or take off the earbuds um, probably it's just me, but I just don't want to show off that I'm sort of like a geeky guy to any of, if someone talks to me and trying to have a conversation with me. So that's a bit of my habit here. Now, let's say when you're trying to have a conversation with someone and they can't, you can't hear them properly. And then let's say you took out the earbuds so that you can actually have a very open world discussion with them. Imagine you actually place this in here like that on your palm of your hand like that and somehow you actually closed it. What happens is that um, yeah, it either plays the music or you have to reconnect uh, to your phone, uh, disconnect and reconnect to your phone because if you press it more than 10 seconds, I think, it just completely uh, loses this, the connection, original settings to your connection um, and then you've got to reset it up again, which is annoying so those are the things that i find it really annoying so i gotta somehow look like a, a idiot who's holding up like that while you're having a conversation otherwise i have to go through this whole painful procedure of reconnecting to it so that's something that's not well considered but then again how can we actually um get away with this design with that way um it's all up to bang and Olsen or any expert but that is something i find it very annoying in regards to the sound break and um, the, the voice delays, yes, since the since the updates, um, the latest updates, I can see that the delay has actually increased more. So I, I used to think like one 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 seconds of delay, but sometimes it depends on the video, which video you watch on YouTube but I think the uh, delay has slightly increased to almost half a second to a second. It could actually be someone deliberately um, making a sound delay to the actual video itself on YouTube, but I have noticed a bit of a delay while uh, um, increase of a sound of a delay. But, also, but on the plus side, the sound quality, I can sense that has slightly improved so there's a bit of a give and take on that side i guess bang and all was in prioritize about the sound quality um, i don't think they have carefully thought through about the sound delay uh, that's my opinion um, because clearly i have sensed a uh, bit of a sound delay but it's still better than the Beats studio wireless uh, delay that i'm experienced so um i think that's that's pretty much it so overall the years of over a year using this product am i happy with it Absolutely, the sound quality is perfect. It's um, the the thing I don't like. Uh, well, I do like this spongy thing. Sometimes it could easily gather wax, but then again, um, I could always use these uh, rubbery like tips, which is the uh, medium, small, and large. But these seems to feel much easier but the only side of this is that you got to make sure it's pushed in to be charging sometimes it does it cannot get charged while you're doing that but the sound quality um, is a premium sound uh, it's certainly that these Danish people have really done very well with their sound quality and it certainly meets 
the your expectation of the sound quality uh, is still the best earbuds not that i actually listen to all of the uh, headphones but it, it's one of the best i mean appearance wise would you rather have a airpod that actually has this white silly thing sticking out or something more like more discreet and actually shows the bno symbol on it so those who knows appreciates the quality of the brand that you have now if i am in a tube where a lot of people are actually crammed in together i can sense sometimes who are actually standing next to me realize that this is from bang and olufsen and you kind of feel this sense of a respect because not a lot of people in central London, which is known to be very crowded, people, I actually saw one or two people so far over the years actually using this uh, earbud. Appearance-wise, you appreciate it as well. The sound quality is excellent. So overall, um, I'm really happy with the product and I would definitely recommend this. So I hope this video will help you and encourage you to get this product. Uh, the quality of the product remains and actually fulfills its quality uh, just over a year now. So uh, anyway, that's, that's all I want to summarize. I hope this actually helped you to understand this product more. And I hope Bang & Olufsen could also release some more design this so I could buy and review it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP. Bye-bye.